The reality is most people aren't going to carry treats around with them 24-7. And the other problem is that if you're paying somebody, it's just like an employee. If you get an employee that only cares about money, that's all they're going to work for. If you get an employee that believes what you believe, they will work for you for blood, sweat, and tears. And at the end of the day, if the dog is focused on what's in your pocket, what's in the bag, what's in your hand, you're not getting a lot of eye contact from your dog and they're not doing it because they have attention and focus and they want to be motivated to do stuff. Right? A dog should be like a best friendly like fence. What are we doing today? What are we doing? Can I come with? Can I do something? Can I do the lesson? It should be very like, what are we doing versus well, if you're not paying me, then I don't care. I have to be motivated by the tree. You brought up a big thing there about eye contact and attention, right? So when you're training your dog, you want to have that attention. Once you have attention, you could then teach the dog whatever it is that you want. Mm -hmm. One analogy that I always bring up is if I'm out somewhere and you're trying to talk to me mm -hmm. and I'm like this, I, I, you don't have my attention. I'm not going to learn or I'm not going to be interested in what it is that you're, you know, you're talking about. Um, I just think ultimately it's, it's not going to solve the problem. It can get results. It can get your dog excited. It can also lead to an overweight dog, right? What happens if you've given your dog a hundred treats in an hour of training and now so the doorbell rings and, and what are you doing? You can't give the dog the treat. So it just becomes this crazy cycle, I think, where you're not really solving the problem. You're kind of putting a Band-Aid on an open wound. It's not really you know, gonna get you the results that you need. There are limitations to it, unfortunately.